Uh, there's our first up close view of Dragon um, from the International Space Station. Sort of see the navigation lights, the uh, there's red and green that indicates starboard and port, uh, the position of the Dragon, and then there's that blinking docking light right at the center. And there's a nice view kind of capturing um, a little bit more situational awareness um, of the International Space Station kind of painting the picture of just how close the crew is. They are coming up to waypoint zero, which is about 400 meters away from the International Space Station, still outside of that keep out sphere. That keep out sphere is the 200 meters surrounding um, the space station. Space Station and Dragon are approximately 261 statue miles over Turkey. It's morning over in Turkey. They'll continue in daylight for much of this maneuver. And Dragon, great news. We have good solution on both Dragon Eyes and we'll be continuing to station. SpaceX Dragon, that is good news. Thank you. We love to be creative with our how with how we name hardware <laughs> here at SpaceX, um, and the Dragon Eyes are exactly as the name suggests. They are what allow Dragon to see um, one of the several sensors on board Dragon that that really um, steer it part of that uh, guidance, navigation, and control systems. Um, but yeah, those Dragon Eyes uh, are are basically uh, uh, clusters of two thermal imagers. Um, as well as to LIDAR range finders. Um, so those Dragon Eyes, there are two of them on board Dragon, um, and those will be critical uh, for the, the docking uh, approach of Dragon Endeavor to the space station. These fantastic views, again, courtesy of the space station external cameras. We're on a southeastern track right now passing over Iran. I do hope Sultan al Niadi is paying attention to where he is. In a few moments, we're going to be passing right over Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. It's amazing. You can see the features of some of the beautiful coastal regions of Iran. And the Persian Gulf is very prominent, that blue area on the bottom left of your screen. Again, the console position in the International Space Station flight control room is Cronus who has complete control over the cameras, adjusting zoom, position, as well as exposure. Station Houston on the big loop. Monitor approach for step three of 1.102, Dragon approach and retreat monitoring. Let us know when your review is complete and you're ready for docking. And a reminder for Duke to begin monitoring for MLMTC restarts at this time. Perfect, tracking copies, we've got that review in work. Mission copies, and we're in work on 1.102. So we're now in approach one. You saw the Draco firings to get us. Now we're on that uh, docking axis with Zenith port. We're making our way closer to um, what's called waypoint two. This is a 20 meter marker right in front of uh, the docking port on the Zenith side. The crew has a burn monitor tool um, available in their crew displays. Um, they are able to access that basically from the moment that the nose cone is opened all the way through deorbit burn. Um, it basically provides the information, you know, when we say monitor, monitor progress, um, you know, they're able to, to have that insight into um, the expected delta Vs, the, the magnitude of the burn, um, how long it will last, uh, and of course, the, the countdown timers um, for um, Dragon's prep state of the burn, as well as the, the burn execution itself. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop, soft capture ringing extension complete. SpaceX Dragon copies, it's good as well. Houston Station is complete with our review of steps five and six, and we are ready for docking. Okay, Houston copies all, and at waypoint two, Dragon will briefly pause. Houston copies. And SpaceX Dragon, our boxes are done, and we are ready for docking. Copy. 
SpaceX will enable approach shortly. As a reminder, once Dragon is inside the crew hands-off point, retreat and breakout are not permitted. SpaceX Dragon got I think the crew might be using one of the tablets that they take with them to take some pictures. Um, it looks like they're perhaps trying to <laughs> see if they can see the ISS through the, the small window uh, located on that forward hatch. That's right, they have the displays right in front uh -huh. of them so they can't bring it right <laughs> up there. They have to sort of angle it near their knees. Yep. It looks like they got a couple of good ones now. And unfortunately, because they have to remain uh, you know, in their seats and um, buckled in, they uh, are unable to, um, you know, really be able to get up close to the windows to, to look out either. Uh, we're about to see uh, two Dragons docked to the International Space Station. Definitely not the first time we've seen that. We've mm -hmm. had um, a lot of these handovers between crews aboard Dragon. You can actually see that Crew 5 capsule there yeah. at the top of that thermal image that was on the right-hand side of your screen. Um, so that's a view of the Crew 6 capsule holding there at waypoint 2, that 20-meter mark from the International Space Station. Dragon, SpaceX on the big loop, soft capture confirmed. That soft capture occurring at 10.40 p.m. Pacific Time, 12.40 a.m. Central Time. International Space Station and Dragon were 261 statute miles off the coast of Somalia in eastern Africa. Beautiful view there from the uh, cameras on board the International Space Station. That is the Crew-6 capsule, as it has uh, just completed the hard capture. Docking sequence not quite yet complete, but hard capture is complete. That is the zenith port of the ISS. That's a great indication of the hooks, too. All 12 hooks are engaged in place, looking good.